Hi everyone. It's hard to believe that it's already the end of the year. And since it's been a while since I've come on camera to say hi in person, I thought it would be a fitting time to do so. It's not only the end of the year, but this is the, my very last video for the year. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for supporting me this year for subscribing, for watching my videos, for all your kind words and your encouragements. It's been a year filled with learning. I've had lots of fun and I won't lie, I've had some frustrating times as well, but I think that's a part of the learning process. Um, all in all though, it's been a good year and I'm very excited to see what next year will hold. Uh, without further ado, I'll let you get to my video for this week. But I do want to wish you a very happy end of the year and a happy new year. And I will look forward to seeing you in 2022. <sighs> Over the last few months, my husband Damien and I have been watching all of the Lord of the Rings movies and all of the Hobbit movies. And I found the elves to be quite intriguing and interesting characters. So this week I decided that I was going to be painting an elf. This will be a mixed media project because I'll be using a variety of different types of materials to create my portrait. If you're interested in learning more about the products I used to create this portrait, please check out my video description down below. I started my process using watercolors and I applied my lightest shades first and then slowly but surely I built up my layers of shading. Even though watercolors come in pre-mixed colors, it's also possible to mix them together to create different shades of color. Using this watercolor palette, I can easily create darker shades of value using banana cream, peach cobbler, apple, and blackberry. I've created a light value of blue-gray and I'm going just underneath the eyelid to paint a little line of shade. I can now use the same color to work on my elf's crown. Since I think I'll be painting my elf's hair red, I've decided to use blue for the background as a nice contrast in color. I'll also use a less intense version of this blue for the eyes. Then using a darker value of the same blue, I add a little shade line right underneath the eyelid and on the iris. Then using a darker value of gray, I start to do some shading on the crown. I think key lime green will be the perfect color for my elf's garment. Now using some of my water soluble crayons, I'm going to start deepening my values. And then I use water to blend the colors I just applied. I'll repeat this process to increase my shading on the face as well. It's time for me to start working on my elf's hair. And to do this, I'll use a blend of watercolors and also water soluble crayons. Using a fine tip brush makes working on the small areas of hair in the crown a lot easier. For the lips I add a bit of color with water soluble crayon and then I use a wet clean brush to blend the color in. Since I'm now starting to work on shading that I'm not going to want to dissolve, I'm working with waterproof crayons and I'm just using regular old Crayola crayons to do this.
I'm also going to be using a variety of different colors of Crayola crayons to work on the elves hair strands. And I continue to work on shading using waterproof crayons. My elf's garment needs a little bit of embellishment, so I'll work on some details using this green crayon. Using my darkest values of color, I'll now start adding a little bit more detail to the hair and the face. To check on the values in my painting, I took a picture of my portrait and I rendered it to black and white. This helps me determine if there are areas in my painting that could benefit from either being darkened or lightened. The darkest black I have in my art supplies comes from this black Posca pen and I'm going to use it now to add a little bit more shading in certain areas and to do a little bit more detail work on the eyes. For a little highlights on the face, I love to work with a white pen. I found some old runes online and I'm going to use them to write a message to myself from the elf. Can you decode the message from the elf? I really love how my elf turned out. So now I'm ready to sign my portrait and call it done. I feel so blessed and thankful that you decided to join me on this new journey of mine this year. I hope you have a very happy new year and I look forward to connecting with you in 2022. Happy creating!